Hi guys, it's Nicola here at boostyourpractice.co.uk. Um, just wanting to do a quick live video today to um, talk about something that I was reading about online yesterday. Um, hello, if you're watching the replay, um, do let me know uh, if you find the video useful, leave some comments, like, share it. Um, so I was reading that this is the last year that we're going to have yellow pages, as in the actual book, you know, the 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 book yellow pages that arrives in the post and you used to use so um back when i was first in practice um so for those of you that don't know me i was a registered oste osteopath a registered osteopath for 15 16 years so back when i was very first setting up which is more years ago than i care to admit um that was what you did was you called the yellow pages man and he came around with all these big books and he you know told you all well, you can't just go into this one because you're on the border of two areas um you know you want to go into all three and you would spend a whole hunk of money and that would be how you would get your business started that would be how you got your phone ringing and that would be how you kind of spread the word locally that you were you know in the area providing the service that you were and to hear that this year is the last year they're actually going to print them. I mean, I wasn't surprised, but I was just kind of nostalgic, I guess, as to how times have changed. And I was thinking that, you know, it, when the book arrives, it, it's teeny tiny, apparently, um, compared to I remember using the yellow pages to demonstrate exercises for patients for hip traction. You could stand on it and say, right, you can do your leg swing because it was so thick, you know. Um, but now it is completely kind of obsolete and not used anymore. So what has that got to do with plant fasciitis, plant fasciitis outcomes? Well, I was talking to a, um, a lady yesterday who was really wanting to attract more patients with plant fasciitis. She'd done a course in it. She put together a really nice treatment program, but she wasn't, as with so many, she wasn't really using Google. Um, she was doing stuff on social media, um, but I just wanted to, I guess, reflect on the fact that we have the end of the yellow pages, but we have this device in our pocket that allows us to have, you know, access to every piece of information pretty much ever known to man. And we can search for it on Google. And if you ignore Google and jump straight into social media, and don't get me wrong, I love social media, um, but y you mustn't ignore Google. So... It is this tremendous tool and think in the last like week, how many times did you Google things? Or even just in the last 48 hours, how many times did you type something into Google or something into YouTube, you know? So to ignore it is really missing an opportunity. And the easiest way to get yourself found for free on Google is using Google My Business. Um, if you don't know what Google My Business is, then head over to www.boostyourpractice.co.uk and hit on the free courses button and you'll see that I have a, a free course on how to set it up properly. It takes you about 20 minutes and all of a sudden you'll be found on the first page of Google without having to pay for Facebook ads or any other paid traffic. Um, so yes, that's my thought for today, feeling quite nostalgic at the end of Yellow Pages. But if you've just done a course on something like plantar fasciitis and you want to get good outcomes for those type patients and you want to um, be able to affect more people and help more people with what you do, don't ignore Google. All right, guys, I hope you found that useful. Um, you take care and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.